hey, I'm the grow boss. I write the grow book and equipment guide. And I'm sitting here in the back of Henderson Hydro and I'm looking at this, this new uh, little grow area that we set up in the store. Um, and I wanted to show you guys something because a lot of customers come to the store and a lot of you guys call in the webcast and you ask me what's the right humidity for seeds and clones. So two days ago on Saturday, we started um, 50 basil seeds in two trays. One of them is just Clonex Solution. The other one is Clonex Solution and Microbes. But more importantly, let's talk about the humidity under these domes because when you look at this, look under the dome, look how much water is under there. It is wet on all four sides, it's dripping. And that's an important thing to note because even though I tell you guys, it's super easy to start seeds and clones, you just sort of got to leave them alone, you still have to be aware of their environment, right? And there's a difference when you start seeds and clones. Seeds have roots, and that becomes important in a minute. But first, before I do that, let me show you. Because we're starting seeds, I'm going to take the Mondi Dome and I'm going to open up the two vents at the top. That way, there's going to be less humidity underneath the dome. And and it's important that you pay attention to the details like this because this much humidity can easily kill your start and i'll tell you about that too but first let's talk about the difference between starting a seed and a cutting see when you start a seed it has a root and a root can dynamically absorb water from the environment that's the whole point of the root so if you start a seed under you technically don't even need a dome but it does help block some of the light. It does make a nice, comfortable environment for your start. So a dome like this seven inch Mondi humidity dome with vents, super important. We sell a lot of these in the store and it makes for a better environment for a seed and a clone. The problem is a cutting. A cutting without any roots cannot dynamically absorb water from the environment. So here are some Root Riot starter plugs, right? This is a tray of Root Riot starter plugs, just like you see on both sides here. <clears throat> this one was Clonex Solution, and this one got Clonex Solution with microbes. But see, the thing is, the seeds haven't popped yet. But that much humidity inside the dome is a problem for a seed or for a cutting. And here's why. See, right here, where the cutting meets the the root riot starter plug right here it's called the msi the media stem interface and if your environment is too humid for too long the sweat the water will build right here at the msi and your media stem interface will rot it will prevent the flow of water the transport of water from the leaves and sugar from the leaves down into the roots it prevents the flow from the leaves down into the roots. It slows your roots down. It makes it soft right where the cutting meets the soil. And eventually you're gonna get that three or four week old clone that hasn't started rooting yet. And when we talk about the humidity that exists inside the dome, where the seed can dynamically absorb water, the cutting can't. I mean, that's why, right? That's why you cut the leaves down. So the plant can't transpire it can't sweat because without roots the cutting cannot absorb water that's why we keep the dome so humid sure this is too humid all you need is a little drop anywhere up in the corner and you know you're in the zone of the right amount of humidity and and i know i tell you guys just leave them alone don't even don't even catch their gaze you want to get 100 percent cuttings and clones don't even you know what i mean but i started this I started these two here because I wanted to be able to show you the problems on the daily that you can run into when you start seeds and clones. Now this round we started seeds, we'll take some cuttings from them, we'll grow them down here, we'll feed them, we'll water them. <clears throat> but you still have to pay attention on the day to day because now that I've opened up the vents on top and the humidity level in here drops, the temperature is still going to stay warm under the dome. So the root riot starter plugs are going to dry out faster. And that's an important thing to notice because when is the next time to water? I always tell you water as infrequently as possible without letting the plants dry out. And you can tell the root riot starter plugs are still wet. Now it's day two, so they haven't popped. But I was in the store and I was noticing just how humid it was. So I wanted to bring to your attention what the right level of humidity is. All right. 
There's a fine line. I can't give you an exact number of when you should water and how much humidity there should be. Um, there's no one recipe that works for everybody because it's environmental, right? All right. I will keep you guys posted on my uh, Clonex and Mondi starters here. Uh, when we feed them in a couple, we water them in a couple days and we'll feed them on uh, the weekend webcast here on uh, uh, this weekend, Saturdays and Sundays at 10 a.m., my live stream. And we'll go over them again. All right. I just wanted to keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching. I'm the Grow Boss. I write the Grow Book and Equipment Guide. And remember, when you start seeds or clones, you're going to want a Mondi Dome. You're going to want a Root Riot starter tray with Root Riot starter plugs. All right. Thanks for watching.